Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we are in The Sims 2 conducting yet another experiment. I just can't seem to get enough. So I recently made a video where I tried to make the largest family possible in The Sims 2. And it was going so well, you know, we ended up with quite a big family, but the problem was the family tree in The Sims 2 was kind of limited to showing just as far as like grandparents. So even though my Sim had a massive family tree, I really couldn't see much of it. it involved a lot of clicking. So today I thought we would do another challenge on the family tree, testing something else. Trying to figure out how complicated I can make a family tree in The Sims 2. So let me first introduce you to our subjects. I have a pair of twins here, Lou and Lacey. They're currently teenagers, however they're not going to stay teenagers for long. They're going to become adults very soon. They live in this house with their mum, Jen, who is an adult, and they also have this guy called Jax, who doesn't really have any kind of relationship with them, he just kind of lives there. So, I was trying to think about how I could try and break the family tree in The Sims 2. I don't think it can be broken because The Sims 2 is so well made, it's like indestructible. But I am curious about what a Sims 2 family tree would look like if I tried to have as much crossover in one family as possible. So Jax here is going to have a baby with Jen, who is the mother of the twins. Then he's going to have a baby with one of the twins after they age into adults and then he's gonna marry the other one so he'll have two babies and one wife and the babies will be very closely related I do have my tombstone of life and death to help me out I am gonna be using cheats but that should always be assumed with my videos you know I've said it once I'll say it again if I'm playing I'm cheating unless I state that I'm not cheating you got to assume I'm always cheating, okay? So, let's start by working on the mum. We'll just give them a super high relationship. Maybe you two can go for a romantic hug. And in the meantime, I'll get one of the... I'll get the two teens to age up. Really? You're going to try flirting with the mum while you're taking a dump? We, ne we need to go in for a caress, man. Why are you... Why are you resisting this? Caress the sim. Are we going to caress her? Fine. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, they've fallen in love. Head over heels. I don't really know what I'm going to do to stop her from being jealous, though. But you know what? That's a problem for another minute. Okay, so you two, you guys can try for a baby. Give me that sexy cutscene. And the twins are planning their outfits currently. Oh, here we go. The old cutscene that we all know so well. Kind of depressing when you see it being done on a bed with white sheets in a white room with no other furniture. Depressing, isn't it? Oh, I think a baby was made. So you know what, Jen? Let's go ahead and speed up that pregnancy, huh? Now I'm wondering if there's something I can give them to try and, like, distract them from... Like, because if he's going to woohoo with one of the other chicks, then I'm going to need to try and get something to keep Jen occupied so she doesn't catch them. I mean, it doesn't really matter if she does, but I could just really do without the drama, you know? Maybe I'll give them, like, a hot tub, and then she can just hang out in the hot tub. And Lacey, let's give you a super good relationship with Jax. Jax, you can wake up, and then maybe... We can get things suggestive between you two while uh, while the other, while the mum is in the hot tub relaxing herself. There we go. First kiss. Cute. That's what we do on this channel. Good, wholesome family fun. Okay, so you guys go and relax. No need to change the sheets. We're on a time limit here. Don't worry about it. You're just pixels. You'll be fine. Okay, so you guys can now try for a baby. Let's just make sure that Big Mama's still happy chilling in the hot tub. Yeah, she seems unfazed, unbothered. I'll speed up your pregnancy in a second, Jen. So then, after this, provided she's pregnant, we will just get him to marry the other girl. Oh shit, she found out. 
How? How did you find out you weren't even in the same room? Oh, no. She's pissed off at her daughter as well. Can we try and maybe amend this relationship a little bit? I know you're furious, but there's no need to hold a grudge, is there? It looks like he fancies the daughter more than he fancies Jen. But here's the thing. His likes and dislikes, like his attractions are both of them. So I guess he just likes Jen more because she's younger, maybe. I don't know. But I'm thinking, let's get Lou and Jax over here. And maybe these two can have just a little, little flirt. They don't really need to try for a baby, but maybe they can get married or something. Oh, wait though, wait though. Is she pregnant? Is the other daughter pregnant? I can't remember if I heard that little... I don't think I heard the little nursery rhyme afterwards. Okay, she is pregnant. Great, great. So we will speed up both their pregnancies. And then we will just lay it on this one as well. Just to really, really take the piss out of this family. And then we will go for a romantic kiss. And then we can propose engagement to her. She's the one we're going to marry, I think. Oh, he's asking the question. She seems thrilled. Never mind the fact that there's a baby coming by her mother and sister. Nah, keep it in the family. Beautiful. What a beautiful moment, witnessed by all. Oh, they can just get married there and then. They may as well. Just get married. I love how when they woohoo with someone else, regardless of where the other sim is, they will just know that woohoo is going on and they'll run over and kick off. Yet when they get married, none of that. You guys still getting married? Well, they did get married, but they're really not happy about getting married. <laughs> Oh dear. So let's check this family tree. Okay, so Jax is down as her husband. And once these two babies are born, how's that going to affect the family tree, I wonder? Oh no, is she going to start some shit? Wait till your sister goes downstairs before you try it on with Jack, okay? We could really do without any broken hearts. Okay, she's having a baby. Great success. And then the mum, who ironically was the one to get pregnant first, I guess, she'll have her baby last. Oh, it's go time. Oh, there's nothing quite like having your brother-in-law's baby. Brother-in-law who was almost your father-in-law. So, yeah. Brother-in-law who was almost your stepdad, actually, I should say. Getting my family ties confused. Okay, we've got a baby girl. Little baby Trace. Nice. All right, Jen, we'll, we'll speed up your pregnancy now. Don't you now start saying how much you fancy Jen. You just married her daughter. So fickle, this guy. Okay, it's go time for Jen. I hope someone is looking after Trace. So this baby would be Jax's child, but also Jax's sibling-in-law. Yeah, that's right. Sibling-in-law and child. And it's a boy. Tracks. All right, let's take a look at this family tree. So Jen, she only has her children and her grandchildren. Trace only has her mum and dad separate. She doesn't have her aunt. So Jack doesn't even, doesn't show uh, Jax's mum, uh, Jax's wife. But for Trax, you can see that Trax has three siblings. Then we click on Lou who is married to Jax. What about on Jax's? Okay, yeah, so Jax has got Trax and Trace. It's funny, because you click on his family tree and it doesn't show much evidence of something crazy going on. You just say, okay, he's married to a chick called Lou and he's got a daughter called Trace and a son called Trax. I wonder what Lou's story is. And then you see Lou also has a sibling called Trax. And then you see Lou's sister Lacey has a child called Trace. It's crazy. Not quite as crazy as I was hoping. If they showed more people on this family tree, then it probably would show a sim being duplicated. Probably Jax. But, you know, I wanted to see what would happen. And now I see what has happened. Well, on that note, I think we've kind of come to the end of the experiment. I feel like it's, it's a bit harder to really make properly complicated family trees in The Sims 2. Because they just don't show as much as the other games and you know I've I've moaned about the Sims 4 family tree in general before but you know credit where credit's due 
The family tree in The Sims 4, it does show quite a lot and it's a lot easier to make a very complicated family tree in The Sims 4. So I don't know if I'll try this again in The Sims 2, it kind of seems like it, it doesn't really do anything crazy. But I'd love to know in the comments what you think. Do you like these family tree videos in The Sims 2? Is it quite the same? But yeah, on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.